Hey folks, so we are back. It's actually three days later, and I'll explain why in a moment. I, I am... So it's March 19th on, um, at noon 03, 12.03. Not, it's not English. Um, so I was really nervous, as you know, well, maybe you don't know. I don't know. Um, I was really nervous about losing Aurora. I really... I, this feels like a fever dream. I don't really remember doing this. I mean, I do, but I, it doesn't, doesn't feel like it was a conscious decision. Probably because I was in and out of that recording a lot because of inspection stuff. Wait. Why is no one here? Okay. So this is what I meant to talk about. Um, how do I how do I say this? Um, I was checking every day to see who was going to move out, because you know if someone was if Aurora was going to move out and she was going to ask about it, I wanted to try to stop her. Um, so I played. I hopped on. Okay. There's a lot going on right now. <laughs> um, so I think I hopped on on the 17th um, to check out what was up and I found out that strangely enough, he's not one of our starters, but actually Rodney is the one who decided to leave. He's not actually even the, oh, it's Rudolph. Could you hear me all the way from my from your room, Jeff? I suppose it may have been a bit too loud. I was just suddenly overcome with this feeling of joy and decided to start whistling. Hey, are you listening? Sorry if I disturb you. I'll try to be more mindful from now on. Maybe it may perhaps seem like an odd time to say this, but would you care to learn the tune? Yes, I would. Mostly because it'll let me talk over it. Um. Oh, that's so loud. Okay, I'm gonna turn it down on my mic. Hopefully you can still hear me. Um, so, yeah, and he, I think Marty, Mar, um, I think Ronnie was the second move in because Marty was the first. So, the move out system's obviously a lot more complicated than I thought, or there's more randomness to it, or something. But um, that sort of opens a big cloud of worms, cloud of bag of worms, can of worms, <laughs> a cloud, a cloud of worms has opened up, and um. I think, so I, I, I thought about playing yesterday, but I hopped on also, and like, I, I didn't save any progress, I just re-imported my old backup save, so it's like I never hopped on. Um, so I, I tried yesterday, and I realized the Warashi girl also, like, I, I just haven't been playing enough, like, I didn't meet her requirements yeah, anyway, so there was no reason for me to play yesterday at all. Um, because also a new student wasn't going to have moved in the day after a move out. Um, so now someone may have moved in, although now that I think about it, it said Rodney's house is unoccupied, so maybe no one has moved in. Um, but anyway, it just seemed like there was no real reason to play yesterday, so I thought I'd take a little extra time. I'm a little behind on posting episodes, so I thought I'd take that time to, uh, Okay. All right. Um, now we did have St. Patty's Day. I didn't get to record on it, but I think I'm gonna celebrate Rodney's departure with a. Uh... Oh, and there's like a. We almost forgot to finish this episode. Joff, is that you, sweetie? Have I got some news for you? Remember that beauty contest I was getting all frazzled about? Well, I finally came up with a fabulous new hairstyle. And guess what happened? Ta-da! That right, that's right. I got first place. Can you believe it? Me. Ow! Thanks for listening to my wanting and putting up so much faith in me. How can I ever thank you? The winning hairstyle has been now added to the menu at Monterey. So do come in sometime and have yourself a nibble. Meow. Wait, what? Trust me, I'll make you look even more fabulous than you already do. Wait, is that just like flavor dialogue or did he actually change the hairstyles? Because if he erased the one I wanted, I'm going to be horrified. Okay. 
Okay, good. It was just flavor text. Unless there's something I'm missing or whatever. Yeah, my days as a grandma are over. <laughs> this is so much worse. <laughs> I look like a Brussels sprout. Is that what Brussels sprouts look like? I never eat them, so I don't really know. This is so terrible. I look like a little Korean child who's been involved, who like fell into a nuclear waste facility or something. I really don't know what to do with this, but I, I guess first things first, I should change to try and make it even slightly more palatable. Hey, Chels, what's up? Yeah, what's up? I got a lot on my mind right now. You know what I'm saying? What's up with you? Hey, I heard some people think it's cute if a girl is a little bit ditzy. I was so happy to hear that. You know what I'm saying? Huh? Oh, not for me, of course. I don't know what she is talking about. Uh, yeah, let's check the fashion land. My, oh my, am I stuffed just like that? What did you have for lunch, did you? I don't have any lunch yet. Oh, that much. I gotta take my morning meds. Med time. So fun. Best part of the day. Not really, but. There's a big difference between throwing a crush and I made a Okay, yeah, we've already heard this story. I'm confused too, Sammy. Alright, Vivian, can you save us from the horror that your brother inflicted on our scalp? Okay, let's see here. What is this? That looks interesting. Sunday best dress, and it is Sunday. Officer Cap. I like this Rastafarian pink logo shirt. What is that? Oh, it says MQ. That's so cute. Let's see top. I think we already have the cowboy shirt. Pool sneakers? Cool sneakers. Why did I? I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm not my best self. I just woke up. I might see how this looks. Maybe I'll just buy it for the fun, for funsies, for the lols. Oh my god. I look so terrible. I'm really not into cross-dressing in real life, but apparently my character is really getting into it. Cookie pants? Why are they? That's odd. I should buy these preschooler pants, though. In case it's part of an outfit. Um, let's please, please, please change clothes. I don't know why I have my little rule that I have to, you know, stick with a hairstyle for at least one episode. Just to keep things spicy. But I'm, I'm really not a fan of this. Bowl cuts just sort of... I think it, it does something to me. Like, unlocks some sort of... Well, I don't think we've seen her in this outfit before. It looks really nice. Geoff, I have a bit of a stomachache right now, but don't worry, it's not a big deal. Um, I consider that a very big deal, Aurora. I'm gonna try to get you... medicine. Now, I'm not gonna use Leighton's tool to find out what her sickness really is. I'm just gonna hope it's a stomach remedy. Or, hope it's, you know, st uh, actually a stomachache. If it's not, we'll fix her right up with something else. I have to remember that's what she asked for the first time. Okay, Marty, what's up? Oh, I'm 
Okay. Oh, what's serious? I forgot there's a mystery. Yeah, that's probably why, but I'm the same way. Aurora, take this medicine, bitch. I'll give you a nice pres present, medicine. Oh, you want to give me some medicine? Yes. I suppose it's better to nip it in the bud. Thank you. I'll take it later. I bet it will make me feel as good as new. Marty, get alive. Preferably on another planet. They say laughter is the best medicine, so let's go find something funny to do. Okay, is there really no one new moved in today? I thought the person moved in always two days after someone left, but it looks like... Oh! Oh my god! Okay, I'm sorry I spoiled it. Someone actually does live here now. Okay, so that's what I thought. I thought it seems like a pretty standard thing that someone uh, moves in two, two, two days after someone moves in, who's out. Blah, sorry. I'm rambling. Okay. So Tony. So Tony was in uh, Sanderson, I'm sorry, was in Smelton's file, and I already have a voice for him, although it's almost identical to Rodney's. Well, it's always hustle and bustle for me, so when I'm taking a break, Joff, why don't you join me? Hey, you know, Joff, it seems like we run into each other a lot lately. It's almost like it was meant to be. You know, like Destiny or something, wouldn't you agree? Not really. Oh, I guess I'm just getting a little ahead of myself. Don't worry about it. It's... Sweet. I actually am starting to like Amber, but I'm in this weird mode where, like, I'm scared of... You know, I'm scared of getting close to anyone in case they ask me out on the day that someone else is moving out. I don't know what kind of intimacy issues that really implies, but... Aurora is so pretty today. We really have the best girlfriend. I'm really glad that she's still here. We still have at least another 10 days with her, so. Let's see. Um, what should we listen to? This was some nice, uh, oh, 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 what's, um, what's a good uh, Ira song? Yeah, I like this one. Apparently I am a small part Irish. I don't really know what part. Yeah, so let's um let's wear lots of green, even though we missed uh St. Patty's Day. Let's just wear all green today. Oh, there is the green skull shirt though. my camo pants. Am I already wearing them? No. Cargo pants? Is that what I'm looking for? Are they in the dumpster? No, I kept some clothes in there. Okay, when I wear that, it almost looks like my horrible outfit is on purpose. Uh, man, I have this weird nerve pain in my back. This is so weird. I'm like wearing. <laughs> I don't know why I bought a second tent. That was such a gaff. Okay, and then I guess it's off to pick out a hat later. I don't know if I'm gonna wear a green hat. I don't really like that green one. I know it's two days after St. Patty's Day, but we're gonna celebrate it anyway. 
feel like St. Patty's Day is one of those days that's like so specific that like, okay, they are here. Wow, I put a lot of clothes in here. Wow, I'm becoming invisible, guys. I feel like the, uh, I think the, um, the hat is going to make or break this outfit. It depends on how much of my hairstyle I can cover. Okay, what are we doing? Pink logo shirt. I'm just gonna put these in here temporarily. All right, explore helmet, um, cowboy hat, and green cap. All right. I just realized, um, I think one of the songs we're missing is called Raging Rivers, and it's like a, it's like a 2000s techno kind of song. All right, let's see, what can we do here? All right, that's full, full green. That's, that's not bad, actually. I like that, too. It looks like I'm on a camo safari. That's not bad, either. Okay, I think the Explorer hat's my favorite, even though it's not green. I like this. Or was still in my room. Um, okay, so since the cat's already out of the bag, or the deer in this case, um, Tony is a stingy blue deer. And um, cross front dress. It's kind of ironic or unironic, considering we're cross dressing. If something's very apt, people say it's ironic, but it's actually kind of unironic, or ironically unironic. I don't know. All right, is that everything? All right, yeah, I still have a bunch of crap in my uh, dumpster, but I, I can safely stow this stuff. I don't really want it right now. Um, let's see. Another nice little song we can listen to with Aurora for a second. Hmm. I feel like there's another Irish sounding song, but I can't find it. Is it Fairy Dance? No. I feel like it's one of the songs that I don't... Oh, this is it. Oh my god, okay. is making me really want to rewatch Rain while well, everything is lately. I've, I've sort of run out of shows to watch, and I think I'm going to go back to that one, which is kind of unusual because I watched it very recently. But holy shit, it was so good. It's just like a really cheesy, soapy retelling of, I think I've already talked about it on this channel, of Mary Queen of Scots. It's basically, it's 
It's basically a teen soap in disguise as a historical drama, but it's so good. And it's kind of sad because, like, it lo as as this show goes on, it loses a lot of cast members. Um, and it's really depressing when that happens because it often feels like it's not really the correct part of the story. But they actually do a pretty good job of making it feel like part of the story and like intentional. Unlike House of Cards. I don't think I can will myself to finish the third season of House of Cards. It's just so depressing and weird and like no one's acting in a sane manner unlike the previous seasons. Anyway. Alrighty. Guys, I'm so excited to play this game. Like, I don't know. I, I didn't play much when my parents were here and I'm just really, really glad to, I don't know. I really thought that like, I'm almost like a hundred videos in like, I know this is only episode 62, um, but I did like 30 with S Smelton, and um, I'm really pleasantly surprised that I'm still having a good time. All right, let's uh, let's store some of this stuff at the bank. I think I'll do some treasure hunting today, and hopefully, I, hopefully I can. Find Brett. I feel bad that I avoided him last time because I didn't want to see me. I didn't want him to see me like this. Oh, I already have an extra piss boy. I already have preschool pants. Find doubles of everything. I was thinking about that lately. My, my interactions with Brett are really... I wonder if I can like psychoanalyze myself um, with it because it's like I really like him but I'm also like going out of my way to hide various aspects of myself from him which is probably like accurate to how I act in real life sometimes. And then I think like um like what if that's one of my problems because what if me not being myself is actually like all right how much is this okay that is expensive enough that some hypothetically someone would accept at a garage sale even though no one accepting no one's accepting anything um aurora is in the way so i'll just buy these flowers But like, I don't know, there's so much weird dating theory out there. It's almost like game theory in a way. And it's the question like, do you have to play ball a little bit? Like, do you have to withhold yourself and act a little more mysterious than you are? Um, just so somebody's natural inclinations towards the unknown draw them to you? Or is it that like your authentic self is what's most attractive about you and your mate will respond to that? It's a interesting question. If you have any thoughts about this, please feel free to share. I'm very curious, like, I think a lot of people, oh, hey, Brett, what's up? Please don't break up with me. All right, Geoff. Okay. Thankfully, he doesn't seem like he's gonna break up with me. I thought, because we didn't hang out last time, at the time it was a possibility. <laughs> I love Brett so much. I, um, I know this is kind of out of the blue, but is there someone you like now? I mean, you go on dates, right? You want to tell me about them? 
Don't you like that? Hey, I'm not asking because I don't know what a date is like. You got that? Grr, you wouldn't believe what happened to me. I was challenged to a fight. Don't you think that? Alright, I thought there's no way I can lose. And lo and behold, I lost. Can you believe it? How embarrassing. That's all good. Let's play an Irish jig. Oh, it's the first song that's handy. Okay, Brett didn't want to join us, so this is pointless. Um, so I'm having a little social get-together for once. Um, finally gonna invite people to my house. I'm usually never social, so I'm kind of looking forward to it. Oh, is this a thing? Antique wardrobe. I don't think we have this, right? Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ on a slice of toast. Do we, need a, do we need a second one of these? I don't really know. Man, these are so expensive. That's actually a little less than I thought it would be. Um, and there's this old game for the Wii U called Spin the Bottle Bumpy's Party that I haven't played for like 10 years, but I'm, no, not 10 years. It's probably realistically more like seven years. Um, but I really, really want to try to get people to play it because it's so, it's such a stupid, fun game. What's this? Japan School 4. Yeah, we can get this. Do I own this? Dirty walls. That sounds extremely familiar. I'm pretty sure we have that. What do I have to do to get a cave floor? Is is there even one? I'm just gonna look this up right now because it's driving me crazy. Be right back. Okay, so this is all in Japanese, but there's a floor that looks like a cave floor. It looks cave-ish. Maybe it's the volcano floor. Um... Yeah, there's like, okay, and that one's the Hellfire floor. Yeah, so there's definitely two. Oh, there is the pizza floor. How do I forget about that one? That's so good. I need to make a room around that. Man. I can't imagine liking Christmas so much that I wanted to make a, a room with it year round. Although I guess people might just want to make one seasonally. You know me, I'm a bit of a Scrooge. Well, maybe you don't know me. Maybe this is your first video. In which case, hi, I'm Geoff, and I make Magician's Quest videos. I was getting too much into online arguments yesterday. Um, love and Lonesome You. Why is the U lowercase? Interesting. I think I might get that antique wardrobe. <gasps> Even though it's expensive as hell. I'm just gonna double check I don't have it. Okay, let me see. Um, antique wardrobe, oriental bed, and dirty walls. I think those are the main things I wanna make sure I don't have. I'm pretty sure I have an antique chair. day drink here. I'm supposed to head to a town like an hour away to pick up some chairs, but the guy is not responding. Actually, I'm gonna... one second. No. 
Aurora really is adorable on this shirt. I'm so glad she didn't move. Uh, I, I, I know it's kind of inevitable, but... Oh, hey, Eric. Oh, he finally felt... He finally got better. What's up, Geoff? Uh, no thank you. I thought I'd have some fun in, by tricking some girls into visiting a scary haunted house. I waited for a while, but nobody came out screaming. Apparently, the ghost made friends with them, and they all played together. So I heard on the phone. That really ticked me off, so I yelled at those ghosts to sort out their priorities. But I scared them so much that they were the ones who ran off screaming. Alright, let's see if I can cut these guys off with a little performance. Thankfully, this is the first song, so... I don't know why Brett doesn't want to play with us. Our friendship level is still really high. Oh, now he's gossiping with Eric. Oh, he's like heading to the beach. Eric, you don't want to play with us either? Okay. Screw you too. Okay, well, that didn't accomplish anything. Let's try it one last time. I just don't know, like, what determines if they're gonna join you. Oh, here we go. Okay, well, this isn't much different, but... They took rain off Netflix though, so I'm gonna have to get the DVDs, but I wanted to anyway. If I really love a show, I'll try to get the DVDs for it. serious about St. Patty's Day. Like, I think I wrote... I don't know, I feel like when I, whenever I have to cover a St. Patrick's Day related event in Pocket Camp for the update threads, I feel like, well, I don't really get connections anymore because people don't like comment as much as they used to. I guess there's like a smaller audience now, but um, back when I got a lot of comments, I feel like I used to, I feel like I used to get some corrections about like St. Patrick's Day. Like, well, actually, this holiday means this, or like he spelled it wrong, or maybe I just knew I was going to get corrections, so I tried to put as much research into it as possible. go do some stuff. Alright, so today is not a haunted house day. I did miss that yesterday. 
I think Rudolph's growing on me a little bit. I still don't like him, but as far as villagers go, it could be a lot worse. I am very confused where Tony is though. Do we need to like, maybe we need to like go to class to like find him, like for him to be introduced and then, he, then he'll start walking around. Oh, that's not our new, <laughs> that's the mystery. That's not our new student. It'd be cool if that was a new student. I don't know if I would date an ogre, but I might. I wonder how Petra is today. I don't think I've seen her yet. I haven't seen Naomi yet either. I really want a better rating for, um, for my town from the nude tree. What's all this then? But I just can't. I think, um, I think Dana Willow suggested I plant flowers every day, but I, I thought I have been, I don't know. There's a tree there. I just feel like my trees never grow even when I do the the plus shaped flowers thing. There's a big uh, empty space here, so maybe we'll try one here. I just feel like I have a very bad sense of which squares are fertile. But yeah, I think um I think I have like a small problem where like I, I don't know why, but like whenever people, I think the topic of old Animal Crossing games, I, I get like too fired up about it. Cause um, and especially I think New Horizons, I get really, I get really fired up about that game because I don't love New Horizons. I definitely don't. But I feel like in the Animal Crossing community, it gets too much hate. Um, which is paradoxical because it's really popular, but maybe that's why it gets a lot of hate. All right, what am I doing? Um, I guess I'll collect some more of those mushrooms. I feel like a lot of the criticisms... So, okay, I love New Horizons. I love everything about it. My single complaint about that game is that it has terrible, terrible, boring dialogue. Everything else I love. Honestly, I think? I don't think I have any other complaints about it other than really boring dialogue. And maybe that's like a localization thing. I kind of... I looked up some of the writers and they're on like Twitter and they kind of seem insufferable. Um, maybe that's my controversial take for the day, but, um, so when people complain that it like doesn't have a lot of features and stuff, I don't know. It's like, I just, New Leaf is honestly probably my least favorite Animal Crossing game. Which is crazy because it has so much stuff to do, but I just don't like it very much. I find the town way too tiny, which makes me feel claustrophobic. And um, I guess let's go splunking. I'm so confused why we haven't seen Tony yet. Um, but so I think that's, some, that's something that, like, gets to me, and it probably shouldn't, because, like, people have opinions. <laughs> um, oh, there we go. But 
Yeah, I just, uh, oh, this one's inscribed. I wonder what it's inscribed with. I think it's just sort of a thing where it's like, I mean, don't get me wrong, I had a lot of fun with New Leaf too. But, um, I think, I think my problem with it is the aesthetic is too clean. There's something about it, like, it feels a bit too synthetic for me. Um, and I, I wish I didn't feel this way because the game has so many items. It's still one of the best games if you like decorating. And I've, I've literally spent like 300 hours playing Happy Home Designer because I love how many customization options there are. But, um, it just, it feels a little too plasticky or something for me, I guess. I think I'm going to run out of inventory space. And so I think that's my hang up with the game. I, I do like it a lot more since once they added the Welcome Amiibo stuff. That was really cool. But it's just hard for me to... It's it's probably the Animal Crossing game where I have the hardest time getting invested. Although City Folk, is, it's hard for me to get invested in that too. What is happening? Okay, we're experiencing some technical difficulties. Okay, that's definitely not where the hole is. It's possible it's not, we, we, we're not allowed to dig where the treasure is. <laughs> okay. Okay, there we go. We got it. That was like surgery. Mammoth bones. Like it. Alright, what are we gonna get rid of temporarily? Um, I don't know. I'll pick that up later. Anyone, anyway, someone was saying like some post there was some post on some forum that was complaining about how New Horizons' uh, villager grinding is too difficult and that the developers of this game are like crazy and cruel for making you do that. And they longed for the old days of GameCube Animal Crossing where you had no control over who moved in and out um, because there were, they said there were only 150 villagers and now there's over 400. And I was like, Dude, <laughs> that like I don't know why that set me off so much. I just thought that was a really dumb complaint, and I maybe made me got maybe made me a little too angry. Like it doesn't matter what people say on the internet. Why do I care? You know. But I responded because I had to. And I was just saying, look, there were 250 villagers, almost 250 villagers in the GameCube days, and. Uh, there were still, like, they were saying, you know, they were all cute back then, and now half of them are ugly. I'm like, no, it's not true. Most of the people, most of the villagers people say are ugly are from GameCube days, and um, there were still plenty of quote-unquote ugly villagers back then, and you had no, no control over, I mean, actually, you actually did have some control over who moved out, but a lot of it was random, and you couldn't make someone stay, really. I mean, there's little, well, there's little things you could do. But, um, so maybe my argument was based on a fallacy anyway. I was just saying, like, the reason villager grinding is annoying in New Horizons is because you're not supposed to do it. Like, the developers in no way intended for you to save up 500,000 Nook Miles, get, like, a billion tickets, and have to do all of that island visiting in one day trying to get like a one in 400 villager that is your dreamy or whatever like obviously and like if you're longing for the old simpler days then just play the game simpler <laughs> don't grind for villagers just wait for 
ones you like to come and then keep them. Or let some, uh, or find some new favorites by letting them come to you. I mean, I get it. Like, like if people grind because they want to, then okay, but let, it's, there's this weird thing that, it's this weird paradox where the GameCube game, you have very little control over what happens, and so it actually becomes less stressful because you're not expected to control all that stuff. But in New Horizons, you have a little bit of control over your island and stuff. So as a result, you get stressed out if your island isn't completely 100% perfect, or at least that's how a lot of people feel. And I feel it even to an extent, even though I don't customize my island that much. Um, ironically, the more the player can do, the more the player feels like they have to do stuff. It's this interesting paradox of game design. So even though New Horizons gives you way more options, it ironically becomes a less yeah, relaxing buddy. game because of it. At least unless you, I think if you have some awareness of this, you can kind of counteract it mentally. Oh shit, got some shade remains. I forgot those guys could give this. Yeah, I just thought it was kind of silly to complain about like that as a feature when like you're really not supposed to grind. If you really want a uh, villager that much, then just buy them on Nukazan or get a custom NFC chip or do the time traveling campsite thing, although that's very hard too. I did that with a friend and it took like, I think it took like two or three hours. All that to say is, uh, I'm probably too opinionated about this stuff. I mean, or you can just buy their amiibo card, although I think one of their favorites was Anka, which, I mean... Okay, good taste, but... I mean, I'm pretty sure her amiibo card probably cost something like two million dollars, but, you know, hypothetically you could buy it if you, you know, became a millionaire. I wonder what Rudolph plays. I, I think we still haven't really figured that out. Oh, I still didn't check what I have in my bank. I'm doing this really inefficiently because I'm getting into rant territory. I guess I'll save the shade remains. Oh, I'll save that too. Ooh, mammoth bones are kind of good. It's too bad that fossils don't look like anything in this game because I would love to, you know, display some mammoth bones or dentures like some of the fossil names are so funny i would really really love if they were actually like items you could see all right um let's see what else do i have to do today Hunt for some treasure since we since we haven't in the haunted house in a while. Let's see if we can get some decent treasure. Okay, is it play treasure or treasure play? Hey, this looks just like our hair. Um, I think it's treasure play. I don't know. Oh well, screw you two.
Let's see. Play. Wait. What am I looking for? I'm doing the seek thingy. Yeah, even though New Horizons has really terrible dialogue, like, I can't really describe the magic I felt playing that game. And I played like two games at once when it came out because I had two Switches, and so it was a, it was a lot of my time, which was good because I was super stressed out from the pandemic and I was catching COVID, which would, you know, change my life a lot. Um, and that game just like... I don't know. It really gave me something to do, and... But yeah, I think... I think the game does feel... Especially with the... I think the Nook Miles system is actually maybe not so great. Because, um... I think the game... I think these games work best when you don't have, like, a checklist of things to do for the day. Um, and when you do have it, it just sort of feels like a chore chart. Like you have to do this at this time to get some Nook Miles, and then you have to do this to get some Nook Miles. Um, it's not terrible, but I think the games work better when it, they're more open-ended. Like what I'm doing now. You know, if there was something saying, you know, oh, collect some, collect and sell some mushrooms. I would feel like I'd have to do that instead of being able to do whatever I want. Okay, we saw Tony two seconds ago, and then he disappeared. Where, where did he go? He was right here. I swear to God. Like, go back to the video, like, 20 seconds. You'll see him. Where did he go? I'm trying... I'm not trying to be mean or I'm just trying to... <laughs> okay, he's gone. He just disappeared. Here's something. I don't think that was the right hole. Oh, great. Okay. There really should be an achievement in this game for resurrecting the uh, ghost enough times with the Shade Remains or the Demon guy. Because it feels like a very pointless part of the game. I mean, only it only has a point if you don't play for months and months. You need to get all the weeds right away. But I think pulling the weeds yourself has some benefits. So, anyway. No treasure yet. I'm not looking very thoroughly, though. But yeah, what, playing, playing, comparing different Animal Crossing games and this game, I just sort of realizing that like dialogue is everything in these games. Yeah, well, it's almost everything. Um, Because it seems like just one part of the game, but it, it's entirely providing, you know, the story, the context, the world. It's saying so much more about the world than the gameplay does by itself. Because, um, you know, when, when, you're, uh, when you're playing GameCube and your neighbors can be in a mad, bad mood or they might call you a friendless loser, it strengthens the feeling that you really did move into a new place, this strange new place where you might get along with your neighbors and you might not. And, you know, if you haven't played the GameCube game, I will say, like, people both exaggerate and... I don't know how to say this. Yes, the villagers are mean, but they're not only mean. They can be really sweet as well. And a lot of times the meanest lines are when you've actually done something to tick them off. Alright, what do we get? Creepy chair! Alright, I'll take it. Not bad. Alright, let's go to class and, um, well, 
first I'm gonna check if I have that stuff at the bank. I don't know where Naomi and Petra are today. Okay. I was looking at the oriental bed, the antique wardrobe. Okay, I don't have the antique wardrobe. I should get that. Um, and the oriental... I do have the oriental bed. And um, the dirty walls, I think I have two. Yeah, I do. Okay. I'll put these... I'll put this in here. Anyway, so that's my that's my rant for the day. I don't even know why I was talking about that. I mean, because I, I really think New Horizons, especially after 2.0, is basically a perfect game, but, um, yeah, I guess we'll just take this, because there's nothing else offered. We'll have to get to the new incantation over the week a little later. Why is Naomi floating out of her chair? Now, children, time for homeroom. I would like to introduce you to a new student. This is Tony. Now, please introduce yourselves. I'm Tony, and I'll be joining you for a study here. My family is disgustingly wealthy, as you'll soon see, but don't let it bother ya. I want you all to be friends. I love when they say the most asshole -ish thing, and then... And then, um, the principal soul says, Now I want you all to be friends. Where it's like, I'm gonna beat you all up the first second, I, the first chance I get. And principal soul is like, now I'll be, everyone be nice to the newcomer. semi-friendly with Tony, I think. This feels very realistic to, like, school, because I feel like I, I learned the same thing, like, six times that I already knew from other classes. Or, like, they just, just forgot that we... They just sort of forgot that we, um... That they taught it already. Teachers just sort of go on autopilot at a certain point because they give the same lessons like dozens and dozens of times. Maybe hundreds. At least my... Oh, sorry, one second. Okay, sorry about that. Why are people... <laughs> I'm so sorry. People are such assholes. I'm just trying to record. There's a really interesting story about you two going around. Is it true you're gonna fight someone for the one you love? <laughs> Fighting for love is really cool. I have to try that someday. Now what kind of tricks could one use? So wait, are Chelsea and Naomi fighting for a lover? It's kind of ironic because, um... So I guess, I guess, uh, Rodney skipped town, like, right before, um... Or right after we, he heard from Naomi that, uh... Or ho heard from us that Naomi's an alcoholic. Well, a gas-guzzling fiend. Um, so I guess we successfully, uh sabotaged her love life. He didn't really want to have anything to do with it. A little a little hypocritical of us considering we just got drunk late two episodes before we, sh we um, sent that letter, but... Hey, I gotta keep this quick. I haven't got time to dawdle right now, to be honest. So what's the problem? My old cousin gave me some advice. She said that if you start, start to like someone, try imagining what it'd be like to marry them. Why is Tony already being a prick? What if you like lots of different people? Yes, you should definitely imagine a polygamous marriage. Oh, Naomi's mad at us. Well, good. I guess she knows that we're behind uh, Rodney's departure. Okay, 
she likes Rudolph now. We'll have to get on to sabotaging that. So sorry, it was just, I, I'm supposed to pick up those chairs today and I messaged the guy two hours ago. And, uh, oh, wait, Miss Straw is here now. I missed him two hours ago. I didn't hold her here back, so I was like, okay, I guess I'll start recording. And then he starts blowing up my phone, like, where are you? And, like, first of all, I'm an hour away. Second of all, if you wanted me to come, you probably should have responded two hours ago. Because I can't come now. Because I'm playing Magician's Quest. Okay, and my is floating again. Okay, I am so sorry about that. I um, I was just trying to get that settled, but I'm I'm good now. I have plenty of time, so I'm gonna actually just move forward. Okay, everybody. Today I'm going to introduce you to the secret saving incantation. If you use this incantation, the money you bury will start to increase little by little. Okay, I'll show you step by step and listen carefully. First, hide your money where no one will find it. Next, transform into a wizard and chant the magic linguistic spell. And then, if you want the money with a watering can, you have succeeded at casting the incantation. At this point, you can take the money up and have a look. And, if you continue to cast this incantation every day, your money will con increase slowly. Okay, so I have heard that this only increases it from, like, one rich to ten rich. And I'm like... <laughs> gives you more trouble. I have to think that there's like some that there's some trick to like make it actually do more. Okay. Oh no, they're gossiping. Alright, so Naomi likes Rudolph, so maybe we can write something slanderous to Rudolph. Shade remains to like give those to him and then talk to Brent. And I don't think I have a whole lot else to do. All these bears are gonna end up rotting. I don't know if I should try planting them. There's no way they're gonna last until uh, the 21st or whenever else I. there's already something buried there, like... Hey Tony, what's up? Hey Joff, how have you been? Me, I'm just fine. Thanks. I take good care of myself, unlike certain others that come to mind. By the way, you'll never guess what I saw. Rudolph was totally practicing magic in front of the school. I wonder what magic Rudolph was using. I should have gone over and made fun of it. Don't even try to replace Grimble and, and, and uh, Rodney. No, not you can replace Rodney. Don't even try to replace Grimble and Mikey. Alright, um, there might be some other berries somewhere that I can replant. Oh yeah, here's some. I don't know, maybe some of these would last two days, but I just don't really trust it. Oh, 
<clears throat> Man, sorry, my throat's a little... It's a little off. Okay, I feel like there's like cranberries as well somewhere. Brett, what's up? Something fun. I totally understand. Let's do something. Alright, um... Okay, yeah, there's these two. I'm sure Brett's idea of fun is not, um... Planting berries, but... Let's see if we can do something more entertaining for him a little later. Sorry if I'm a little down. This just really bugged me. Like, I, I messaged him asking when is good. He waits two hours, and then his next, and then I, because it's really a long story, but basically I don't have my own Facebook account. I have one for my stuffed animal. So my mom is usually, she, she took it upon herself to message the uh, seller. And then I mentioned to my mom, can you let him know to get back to me? And then his message to me was like, yeah, where are you? So first of all, I live an hour away. And second of all, you never told me when to come. <clears throat> so I certainly can't come immediately. Or, <laughs> that sounds dirty. <laughs> um, I can't already be there when you didn't tell me to come. <laughs> And uh, especially since you never responded, I planned my day around it, as in I decided to record now and do that later. So I told him, you know, I told him four because I really didn't want to rush this episode. Oh, he doesn't have anything to say about my room. Probably because we just brought Aurora in here. What else can we listen to? Um, wait, I don't really know why I came in here. <sighs> I suppose I probably should start s storing a couple more clothes at the bank, just because, um, my storage is getting very full and, uh, well, there's just a bit of an issue where, like, I would love to be able to store berries instead of selling them every time. Or, or planting them. But, you know, you need storage room to do that because you can't, um... If you put them in the trash, they'll rot. Alright, I'm gonna play with this ogre in a second. I wanna... first. If I recall correctly, this is an extremely easy, um, really an extremely easy, um, mystery to solve. It's not really solving anything, you're just basically playing hide and seek, or tag, or whatever it is. Okay, so she said to, uh, okay, let's review this, because I want to actually try it. It's like money love, right? Okay, yeah. That's where I'm gonna say the words. Wait, I probably should have checked that more carefully. Do you bury the money before you even transform? Hide money in the ground, transform, say the words, and then... Okay. 
I'll do it right at this, like, the cusp of this, um, okay, there we go, that's a good hiding place, I can remember it, alright, and then transform, and we say the words, this money love and then we water it okay I'm not even gonna check it right now I'm gonna wait a day I guess and then I'll like I don't really know how, how this works. We're just gonna experiment with it a bit, I guess. Oh yeah, and I wanted to give uh, that demon the uh, shade remains. Oh, can you only talk to him at night? I guess so. Oh no, okay. Oh, it's you. Did you bring the shade remains? I don't know if this is real. The voice I used for him last time. Yes, this is perfect. Shade remains. Ho, 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 ho. I love the. <laughs> I love how happy your character looks when he's like waking up and a demon of evil. here to refresh the time, like the hangout time. Oh, there actually is some good stuff in here. Or maybe at least just one. Oh, I also don't know if Malayla wants anything today. Actually, she probably wants the same thing she asked for last time, which was just like boring mushrooms. Or wait, no, it's been three days. She probably does want something new. I might, yeah, I should probably ask her. I'll do that a little later. For now, let's try to um, oh, we also need to stop by Petra's and talk to her. Oh, okay. Petra's not here. Oh, here she is. Hi, a Geoff. Hit him. So what's on your mind? Geoff, I heard an incredible rumor about you. You got some things like this. Geoff and I saw fireworks. No, it's just a rumor, but is it too? I always get into like Irish accent accidentally when I say that. Habit forming. Yeah, poppers can be habit forming. I mean, psychologically, I don't think they are actually like. All right, I guess I probably should have talked to the ogre a while ago because I have no idea where he is now. Is that him? No, there's that was nobody. Okay, well this will be interesting. Maybe we should get on our broom. Hmm. Yeah, I'm really glad that Ronnie had the good sense. I, he's a very thrifty personality, so I think he understands that drinking gas is an extremely economically wasteful thing to do in addition to being hazardous for your health so he probably I, I would imagine that turned him right off and so he had no other reason to to stay here because if you remember the very first episode he arrived I think I decided right away that he was uh, made for Naomi something about like oh here we go something about lifting a girl or something I don't really know 
I don't... Do I do a, like a terrible Shrek impression? Huh? Never seen you around here before. I can't. <laughs> it's gonna be so bad, I'm sorry. Didn't think there is anyone left to smack down. <laughs> now it's your turn. Let's play. <laughs> but I got to warn you. I've already beaten everyone who lives around here. And now I'm gonna beat you. <laughs> this is probably the worst Shrek impression ever. The game simple. It's tag ogre style. All you have to do is catch me three times without me seeing you first. Do that and you win. But there's a time limit, so don't be a slowpoke. Okay, game on. Catch me if you can. Okay, so we have to catch him without him seeing us. I can't really remember exactly uh, how this works. He's like... He like disappears and then he comes down from somewhere. I think he generally comes down from uh I guess we should have our uh brooms on. But you sort of have to find him and then like sort of sneak up on him. Sorry, Brett. If you want to beat this ogre, this is what you have to do. You have to be fast. Okay, I don't see this punk anywhere. That's Sammy. Very un ogre like. Oh, and I also want to do an evaluation today since we... We're not going to get the Rashi child for a long time again. So, like, I'm, I'm just... I'm slacking a lot with the values. I'm probably not going to play in another Saturday anytime soon. So we might as well just do it, even though it supposedly resets those values that she looks at. It's fine. All right, this is, uh, this is not going very well. I don't know what's happening or where he is. Oh, there he is. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Yikes, you got me. Gosh darn it. But that's only the first time. Beginner's luck. So it's like an Irish ogre, I guess. And that is an Irish goodbye. Alright, I think this time he, like, comes from the school area, or like from town. So let's check up there first. Hey, Amber. Hey. See up here? It's tricky because you don't get as much, uh... No, he's not over here, okay. I'm worried that Brett's gonna stop hanging out with us but by the time he uh, we complete this mystery. I really wanted to complete it together. Not that Brett's being super helpful, but he's emotional support. And I'm sure he's keeping an eye out as well. This is really not going very well. You just move downwards because he could easily see you because you, you don't get as much uh, your vision's not as good okay that's Tony he, it, he does look a little bit like an ogre, but it's not the one we want. I wonder if we find Eric if it counts. He's definitely an ogre. Okay, I'm not finding him anywhere. What is the time limit to this thing? <laughs> a 
Should we go and check around town again? Oh, there he is. Okay. We have to sneak up behind him. Gotcha. What the? You got me again. Bah, you just got lucky again. I'm playing for keeps now. This time it's not gonna be so easy. I've pretty much given up on Shrek and I'm just trying to do a stereotypical Irish accent. Which is still pretty bad, but whatever. Alright. Let's start up here and then we'll like loop around and go over to town, I guess. <gasps> oh, okay. There he is. Oh, he found us. Oh, that was close. You're gonna have to do better than that to catch me. Ha ha ha, in your face. Uh, fuck. Man, we're tired. I mean, we're sad about that, I guess. Alright, I thought we could- I thought we could dodge that. And we don't even know the invisibility spell. Because it's the first incantation and we missed it. All right. Wonder what happens if we like use the transmogrifications transformation spell if we like. I mean, I, I doubt that would help, but anyway. Um. This is... I hope we don't have to find him three more times. We probably do, don't we? This kind of sucks. I feel like you already have to find him once just to start this thing. <laughs> Good lord. Oh shit. Exciting. I'm running into Naomi's house. So anyway, how how are you doing out in the world? Anything new? If you're watching this even many years in the future, feel free to let me know how it's going. But all good either way. No pressure. Oh lord. Alright, maybe we need a short interaction from ogre hunting. This isn't going very well. Oh, here we go. Okay. Okay. I think the first time he comes... Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe he always comes from... I feel like he, he teleports to the cave entrance or the beach entrance and then he like just makes his way towards the grassland. I don't really know. But it almost feels a little pointless to try to find him beforehand because... It's like he can see you very clearly in a space that's as narrow as this. You have to like find him more in the lowlands where there's more room. Okay, I'm pretty sure I have to find him three times. It's very embarrassing. I found him as, as when I was playing as Smeltdown, I found him very quickly with no problem. Oh god! <laughs> okay. Um, let's just like hide this way and that, that was silly. I, he really realistically would have seen us, but I'm not gonna... Well, he saw Brett. This is a real stealth mission, guys. Can't really see him.
Gotcha. All right, take two. Brett's already clearly very bored, but this is hard work. because if he's actually over here, which he probably isn't, he would spot us right away. Not a good vantage point. This uh, double screen thing is not really... You don't get a very great view. he's always in the same place, but maybe it's like, maybe there's an element of randomness to it. I don't really know. Okay, Petra and Naomi are having a bitch fight. Oh shit, 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 fuck. Oh, god damn it. Guys, I really suck at this. I, I... God fucking damn it. I really... This mystery really isn't hard. I don't know why I'm having trouble with it. I feel like an idiot. <sighs> All right. What do you want from us? Okay, it's the exact same thing. I don't have those, but I can sell these mushrooms at least for now. Just hang out in Brett's room for a minute. Ah. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Brett? With any new student, there needs to be a little light hazing. Do you want to do the honors, dude? Okay, that almost looked like you're aiming for me, and I know you weren't. Give it another shot. I'll do one just as some encouragement. Is he, like, stuck? Come on, Brett. I know you got it in ya. You cast farts fills for breakfast. That doesn't really make sense, unless you'd be eating the farts, but you know what I mean. Like that. You know how this works. What are you doing? You're making me angry! Alright, there you go. Very nice. What? Jeff! What's going on? I seem to have forgotten what I was doing. Alright, let's skedaddle. I definitely think we have, like, the evil title settled. Just need to do a, an evaluation later. Brett has really does have the nicest room. It's just got such a nice vibe to it. And I like these uh mushroom lamps. I don't think I've ever seen these in the game. I don't know. I think they might be limited to um Rewards for taking care of your your town or whatever. Yeah, it is good. 
really like your room, dude. That really is the best. I'm so happy he moved in. All right, let's try attempt number three. So it does, it, I, I think it is correct that he starts out at the uh, cave or the beach entrance and works his way down. And so I think a lot of it is just patience waiting for him to come down because it seems like it's, it seems very disastrous if we try to catch him before he does that. Like it's just very difficult to get around him You could maybe, in front of the school, find a way, but... Okay. Let's see if we can find it this time. Okay, here he is. Alright. I guess we can just chill for a minute? I don't really know. Let's just talk to Petra for a while. When the friends don't find a boyfriend, I always start wanting one more than ever. I am. You're saying it's because love is contagious. No, it sounds like you're just jealous. I do get it, though. I often get jealous when a friend gets a boyfriend. But you know what? Everyone deserves to be happy. Is he coming from that direction? I don't know. I really like the single life, though. I don't know if I would ever really want to, uh... I haven't shacked up with anyone in forever. I don't know if it's really for me or not. If I met a troublemaker like Brett, then I would maybe reconsider. Okay. Is he, uh, is he coming ever? I don't know. I, maybe, maybe he doesn't exist. Or maybe he's just taking his sweet ass time. I guess we should put on our brooms. This is a really boring mystery. <laughs> I thought I just saw him, but it was a rock. Gotcha, bitch. I mean, come on. I've got him five times now. I feel like that should count. Oh, I can't forget to buy the antique wardrobe either. I didn't do all that grinding for nothing. I guess we could pick some mushrooms while we're waiting. I think, I think hackberry is one of the kinds she wanted. Um... to do right now, so we might as well. Or we could just chill and play some music, I guess. I kind of almost want to try to cheat with transforming. I'm very curious whether that would actually do anything, but on the other hand, I am like, you know... I'm trying to complete it with Brett, 
to make him feel better about losing to himself. Fun, 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 fun times. Oh god, there he is. Okay. I think he's coming across the bridge. bitch. Okay, I'll be really impressed if Brett manages to uh, stick around for long enough to, for us to finish this. I've been out here for a while now. Let's see. That time he actually came down rather quickly. I'm not sure he came from. Maybe he came from the school. I mean, not the school, the dormitory. I don't know. But yeah, staying towards the bottom here seems like the only safe way to do this. Just trying to make sure he doesn't see you. He's like trailing behind us for so long. I'm trying to see if I can like see him from this angle. Probably not, but maybe. You never know. Judging by the amount of time this is taking, I'm guessing he's coming from the forest. This mystery really is just a lot of waiting for him to come down. Oh, I thought I saw him, but it was a tree. Oh, there he is. Okay, we are so close to victory. Just come up behind him. Like this direction. Gotcha. Fuck, that took forever. No, I don't believe it. Is this the third time? <laughs> I think he turned to Jamaican for a second. I can't believe the same person caught me three times. We got some serious skills. I never met anyone who could catch me so quickly three times. Darn it. I wanted to play you again. I'll be around here for a little while longer, so stop by any time if you want to play again. Don't forget, I'll be waiting. I, I'm sorry, my voice work is so bad. Yay for us. Man, that mystery sucked. <laughs> Alright. I kind of want to see if I can transform into him. First, we can do some poppers in the woods with Brett. I bet Brett would be into poppers. Um, it's like fire, flower instrument. Poppers deep in the woods. If this isn't gay culture, I don't know what it is. But it's also like hardcore enough. I think it would appeal to someone as apparently straight as Brett. Although he's not, he doesn't, he doesn't seem to be commenting on it or doing it as well. So maybe he's not into it. 
I wish there was like a thunderstorm spell. That'd be pretty cool. Brett's really not into this. Come on, Brett. <laughs> He's really not feeling it even a little bit. Aurora always casts this with us. How's our friendship with Brett looking, by the way? Okay, we're at max, so... <laughs> yeah, I think this is just not Brett's style. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll get him there one day. Okay, well, that was hypothetically fun. Oh boy, all right. Um, let's see if we can get him and Aurora together for a minute. Is she at home or is she at Lover's Point? Okay, she must be at Lover's Point. Last time we tried that, they, uh... I think Brett left before we could really take care of it, but... like tiki stuff lately I wish it wasn't so expensive I know it's like culturally appropriating but tikis are so cool all right we're just having a lovely time all right let's see if we can uh I kind of like this green hair mostly because I can't see it right now Okay, so it's Aurora who's here by her own volition. Actually, first let's, uh... What did we say? I'm gonna have to look back and see which, uh... Which songs actually... Darlin, oh darling. Oh, they're gossiping now. That's a good sign. Wait, is this the right song? I thought I... Oh wow, I've never heard... I've never heard this song with electric guitar. It's really interesting. We've got to, we've got to do a big band version of this at some point. This sounds amazing. With the electric guitar chords are just really not what I would have expected, and it adds a lot. I think, even though it's a little repetitive, it does sound cool.
Come on, Aurora. Okay, she's she's too busy being in heaven, I guess, or enjoying the sun. Alright. Oops. Alright, so she's not she's not gonna notice when I do this. Sammy is so good to me. What? Always wake me up when necessary. Don't you think that if it wasn't for Sammy, I missed about the end of every, every lesson? Uh, what the fuck? No, that's not cool. We don't like Sam anymore. We're gonna have to beat him up again and get bread in on it. When I ask a question, there's some who start mumbling and don't make any sense. So I tell them the answer is either yes, no, or a fist. For those who still can't make up their mind, I just decide to harm them. It's a fist, of course. I really want to be a police officer someday. I think I'd really enjoy it. Most importantly, though, I'd be really, really good at it. Who better understand the mind of a criminal than yours truly? <laughs> I'd be a little scared about Brett being a cop, I think. It must be so cool to be a movie star. Everyone loves movie stars. People that get their autographs and hang posters for them. That settles it. That settles it. I'll make posters of myself and pass them around, and I'll be just like a movie star. All the girls will go gaga over me. Don't you think that... Excuse me? Do I know you? Respect my privacy, okay? <laughs> what? <laughs> I went fishing the other day, and there were two guys that were arguing over fishing caught. Well, neither of them had started fishing, so I walked over and started using the spot. Then of all sudden, these two guys turned on me! Well, I was having none of that. Don't you think that? I mean, do fish argue over the bait? No, they just take it. Survival of the fittest. I'm just glad I'm so smart. It sure was a nice fishing spot. Hey, Rory, if, you need, if you're ever in some trouble and need some protection, let me know, okay? It's the responsibility of the strong to protect the weak. <laughs> Catch my drift, don't you? You have something to say? Are you holding back on me? Better speak up before I knock your block off. Wow, okay. No, Brett, don't go. Okay, he went. Well, at least he likes her a little more now. At least that was the intention. Alright, um... I need to evaluate, and then I... I was going to try to transform into the Ilgar, but I doubt that'll work. This game loves to lag at the beach. Hey, I gotta fly. Catch you later. Wait, why is he mad? Oh, I guess we talked to him a lot as Aurora. I hope that doesn't affect friendship negatively. It's still at max, so hopefully that's nothing bad. Alright, um... Yeah, we did talk to him several times. I can understand him He's being all talked out. I don't think the game differentiates between you talking to them as uh, someone else or as yourself. Now the question is, is the ogre really still around? I, I think he should be. But uh, I don't know for sure. I think I've seen him around still afterwards. I don't really know, actually. Now I'm kind of wondering, like, if, if this guy is, like, some sort of Japanese, like, yokai or, or myth or something, because... He sure seems like it. He he kind of looks like a like a kind of typical Japanese demon, and he also like uh... oh I can't forget to buy that thing. I need to go do that like right now. I'm gonna forget. I think it's because deep down I don't want to spend all that money on something that I might not use, but... Okay, 
Okay, I do not see it anywhere. The ogre, I mean. I should probably try to do more to get Petra and Eric together. Okay, that really smarts, but yeah, let's go for it. Oof, how's my money now? Low. I guess I'll try to get a smidgen of it back at the Emporium. I really, really, really don't know what Freaky Frog Fat is used for. I do not remember if it's used at all. I mean, hypothetically, I guess all of these ingredients are used at some point in the game, but there's some I just don't know. Maybe, maybe some are used for, like, mysteries. It'll be kind of nice. In a weird way, it's like, um... If I hate everybody, it actually opens me up to be friends with everybody because I don't care if anyone moves. But that'll be like three months in the future when Brett leaves, and after that, I, there still might be some people I want to keep around, so... A little tricky. I really, really, really want to find that ogre again, but I don't know. He might not be around anywhere. I don't know if there's like some timer... I'll just look for, for a couple more minutes, and then I'll put us all out of our misery. I'm sorry this episode's turning out to be super long, but since it's been so long since I've had a long episode, that last one was cut kind of short, so... I've been really uh, glad Paula Dean has been really sweet. Um, I managed to get in contact with her. Um, I sort of like rummaged around some darknet forums and they had posted her personal cell phone and email. So I've started messaging her and asking her if she wanted to come on the show. Um, you know, I know she's not like really into Magician's Quest, or at least that's not generally what she's known for, but she's actually so nice and she's been like, just chatting with me um, late into the night, texting, and just talking about how she really, really wants to come on the show. So um, I think it was the the Blue It Mushroom episode where I was trying to find a Blue It Mushroom. I was going to have her on because it was like a recipe thing, so I thought she'd like help us cook. But um, she really has a lot of trouble figuring out Discord. I've I've honestly spent like three hours trying to like set it up with her. Um, you know, like getting her audio devices working and then like getting it through her firewall and stuff and it's just, it's no good. So, so she wasn't able to that time. And then, uh, last time she was actually going to come on, um, briefly, but it was such late notice with my parents, um, going out that like, she just wasn't able to make it on in time. She was, uh, Busy. She said she was making some kind of banana bread or something. Which sounds really good. But, um... I'll have to get her on at some point. Alright, I think I fucked up my chance, because I don't, I don't see this ogre anywhere. I, I, I feel like the Enchanted Bros website says that it, he sticks around. So you can keep, you know, playing tag with him. But I don't see him. I should really try that with more Mystery Time creatures, though. Than, like... In situations where uh, there there's a character walking around, I kind of really, really want to try it now. Or see what happens when you transmogrify or make yourself invisible. 
Lots of fun experimentation. But yeah, this ogre is definitely not here or anywhere. I guess since I'm not doing the Warashi Child anytime soon, it also doesn't really matter if I talk to everybody every day. But I think I talk to everybody today anyway. It's kind of nice too. I'm, I'm, I'm just sort of getting used to doing it. Alright, yeah, this ogre is nowhere to be seen. Alright, I will try to get um, evaluated though before I hop off. I was thinking about writing Rudolph a letter disparaging Naomi, Naomi but I'll, I'll probably do that next time or something. We have plenty of time to do that. It's far past time. I think it's been like three months since we did an evaluation. The last time we did it was, um, <laughs> I want to say like episode 21 or something. I think it was the Mikey's Monkeypox Luau episode. Okay, Brett's not going to want to talk because we, we just talked his ear off. Do birds have ears? I think they just have like like little holes up there must have hearing because they tweet at each other. All right, um, he wanted to just come to the auditorium. I wonder who will attend our little ceremony. Now it's time to evaluate our students. I would like all of you to please come up on stage. Okay. Please come over to me when I call your name. Joff, you're up first. Now, let's see about your evaluation, Geoff. Geoff, you did well at the Rainbow Snow Festival. Well, I'm surprised you remember that. That was like weeks ago. You've worked hard to solve the various problems that occur around town. You've expanded your information network by talking to lots of friends. We managed to keep the town clean thanks to you, Geoff. I was giving us lots of compliments. Wow. It really has been forever since we did this. Geoff, you did wonderfully in the magic tournament. In recognition of your effort, I hereby grant you the title of Great Wizard. I also present you with the Crystal Staff. I, I don't know what these are for, but thanks. Geoff, all your mischief caused everyone a lot of grief. Therefore, I grant you the title of Evil Wizard. <laughs> I also present you with the Evil Wizard hat. Say out of trouble from now on. Nice, we're getting some recognition. Ooh, that's creepy. <laughs> They're all cheering for me. You did great, Geoff. Let's see about your evaluation. Oh, it's quite good. Give the good work. Considering your previous evaluations along with the latest one, I think it's about time to raise your rank, Geoff. In recognition of effort, I hereby you grant the title of Three Star Wizard. Ooh. Nice. We've got some nice titles here. Oh, I don't like that. That's ugly. Especially with our current outfit. Yay! I'm gonna let this roll. This really looks really ugly though. So I guess, um... I think it's limited how much you can rank up at once, because I think if you added up all the stuff I've done, I'd probably hit four star, maybe? But I think it just sort of like adds stuff incrementally. But um, so what is the Great Wizard from? Is that from winning a lot of magic tournaments or something? I might look this up. Nobody knows where it is. 
it's all in here It's always there when food of thought It's the only lemon in the world Everyone has this one thing they have Alright, where is this? Okay, welcome page. Alright, what did we just earn? We earned three star wizard. Great wizard. Okay, so great wizard has no staff, but it, and it has no habit, it has a crystal staff. Okay, it's after winning some magic tournaments. Okay, that's pretty vague, but. Alright. Um, and the evil wizard. So you have to cast prank magic on your classmates more than a hundred times. How many times have we done that? 251. That's a lot, guys. In fact, it's good that I evaluated because it might not be able to go over 255 and then I don't know what would happen after that. Um, so we still have quite a few more. We need a wise wizard, which is solve every mystery case. Yeah, that's going to take forever. Corsair wizard, we're halfway there. You have to defeat the pirate 20 times. Love wizard, you have to have 10 confessions. Um, we have three so far. Um, a la mode wizard is you have to get 12 different types of hairstyles. You know, I was hoping we would have that by now. If we had three in, three in November, three in December, three in January, and three in February. And then we've done three this month. Wouldn't wouldn't we have twelve already? Hold on. Yeah, Layton hasn't figured out how to track that one, so I have no idea what's going on with it. Um. So we need stylish wizard, where you have to change into different sets of clothes every day. Gallant wizard is to talk to people for every day for 10 days. Skull wizard, you have to defeat android ghosts. I think I've defeated like 50. Yeah. Okay, well, this is really fun, but I'm hoping this is almost done. Especially because it's always our least favorite classmates that clap for us in this thing. Like, I wish we could, like, you know, bring Aurora with us or something. Okay, that was a hoot and a holler, but we're all done with that now. I'm pretty sure we don't have to watch anyone else's. All right, let's see where we're at now. Well, it's cool as you can kind of, like, pick which hat and staff you want to use. Okay, we're at three star wizard and we have four little stars, whatever that means. And uh, we have some special titles, I guess. Star staff or crystal cane. I guess we can use the crystal for a while. Um, let's use the evil wizard hat. That's pretty fun. What's, what's this? Is this like active? What is this? Is that like what spell you have loaded? I'm really confused. I don't think that's the last spell I used. Yeah, I'm really bewildered by that. It's cool though, whatever it is. All right, I'm gonna triple check that the ogre isn't around and then I'm gonna hop off, I think. Thanks a lot for joining me. I really appreciate it. I'm really sorry for all the interruptions and the, like it causes like a mental inter interruption in my mind. Um, man, I'm cold. It got really cold here all of a sudden. All 
right, yeah, no one's no one's out. I would actually love to hear a little bit about our solved mystery, but I don't even see anyone to talk about it with. Very weird. But I really like that you can even pick like lesser star hats because I would honestly, I prefer this two, the two star hat over the, the um, hey Tony, okay, are you going to tell me anything about the uh, mystery? Yeah, yeah, we've already heard this from stingy people. Homework? Sure, I do my homework. If you don't, your teachers get angry. Don't misunderstand me. It's not that I'm afraid of my teachers or nothing. In fact, my teachers really like me. It's a good situation with plenty of hidden benefits. Just to make sure I don't mess it up. Baby? Which is why I always do my homework. Okay. What? Start that sounds like he's like doing sexual favors for the teachers, which is Aurora's job. Ha ha ha. I finally won. Won what? Why? The game with the ogre, of course. I managed to catch him when he fell down. Just the once, mind you. Baby? It looked like someone got to him before I did, though. I'll get there first the next time around. Just you wait and see. Although, I'm not sure how to catch him. I'm not sure how I'll catch him. It's really weird how Tony's um, catchphrase is baby question mark. Because, like... I feel like there would be some confidence to it, you know, like, you know, what do you think of that, baby? Or, uh, or, uh, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Or, um, give me all your cash right now, baby. Or hasta la vista, baby. I don't know. Anyway, um. But it's like a question mark, so it's more like, Hasta la vista, baby? <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm being an idiot. <laughs> it's weird, though. Alright, yeah, this ogre is seriously nowhere to be fucking seen. I don't know what's going on with them. Alright, Amber, do you have anything to talk, tell us about the ogre? Oh, no, she's, just, she's into friendship mode. I don't really want to... I don't want her to ask us out at Lover's Point right now. Sammy has a major drawback. I tried playing the ogre's game again. I snuck up really quite from behind and caught him. Quite. Really quite. From behind and caught him. Hit him! He only ever pays attention to what's going on in front of him. He's not so smart. Interesting. It's the early evening. I took Amber out to the limelight. I told her the cheesecake was to die for there, but she ordered the strawberry to parfait. Whoa, they have, they have dessert there? I want cheesecake from limelight. I fucking love cheesecake. Hit him! I guess she can eat what she wants, but it kind of takes me off. Am I too petty? Oh, better shut up. Amber's right here. I kind of agree with you, though. If you tell someone to order cheesecake and they don't, then, you know, they're hot garbage. I don't know if we can get anyone to play this with us. Rudolph is, like, stuck at a bench. Petra's just watching us. Oh, she's going to join us. Yeah. Come on, Rudolph. Okay, he's getting mad at us now. Well, I hate you too, Rudolph, so... <laughs> Didn't I say I was going to end this episode like a half hour ago? Come on, Amber. Oh, yeah.
I like this though. I really want to get like a really big group together for this. This is just such a good song. Especially live. And I've never heard it with this electric guitar, so. That was good, guys. All right, well, I'm gonna call it a day. Thanks a lot for stopping by, checking out the channel in any capacity. I really appreciate it. It means a lot. And um, yeah, I mean, if you actually watch these whole videos, you rule. I mean, it just means a lot. Even though I don't know who a lot of you are, it means a lot and I appreciate it. Um, but yeah. It's really nice to be able to play this game and share it for folks. I know I say that, but it's it's true. All right, this music is so loud. <laughs> All right, well, take care of yourself, and um, yeah, I guess that's it. Take care of yourself, and uh, until next time, bye for now. Peace. See ya.